Let's go. First question, we're going to go to Shane Young. Hey, Doc. Hope all is well, man. Um, we were talking to Lou a little bit ago, and he I asked him about uh, playing with Reggie and those lineups with the two guards and how much – what the advantages are of him playing next to Reggie, and he said that he could play his natural position. How do you view Reggie's role in the coming run y'all are going to have? Well, really exactly that. You know, Reggie can play with the starters. He can play with the second group. Um, you know, um, getting Lou off the ball has made Lou more dangerous. You know, I thought Lou, uh, previous to us getting Reggie, was, was literally doing too much work. He had to bring the ball up, set up the play, and then they would get it back to him to score. That's a lot of work. And so now Lou is in, back in his natural spot. He can just run to his spots. We can give him the ball and he can attack. Okay. Uh, next question, we're going to go to Andrew. Hey, Doc, I know that you had to make tough decisions to get your travel party to the size it needed to be. Um, but you guys have such a large organization now for basketball operations. Like, how do you try to take advantage of all those people who are back in L.A., whether it's whether it's players or coaches, just to make sure that guys can stay involved and have interaction with the party in, in Orlando? Well, they still watch film. Uh, they're still in all of our, our coaches meetings through Zoom, you know. Um, you know, our staff is just like probably every other staff in the NBA. Everybody has big staffs. And so there's still a lot of work to do. And, and a lot of guys can do the work at home. You know, uh, clearly we would rather have them here. And, and I, I do think it was a tough spot to put the coaches in that they had to leave some coaches back. Uh, having said that, you make best do of the situation. I think our guys are doing that. Okay. Uh, next question has come from Farbot. Hey, Doc. Uh, Patrick Beverly said that, you know, working out with Kawhi Leonard changed his life a bit and changed what he thought hard work truly was, and it was because of the repetition. Have you seen that kind of from Kawhi where the repetition he loves that he has is very like Kobe-esque or Jordan-esque where it's like once in a generation type thing? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know the Kobe-esque and Jordan-esque stuff other than they were just talented as hell too and worked harder than everybody else. Uh, Kawhi has that for sure. You know, his work ethic is unbelievable. I think it gets marred in the, uh, you know, when you talk about the game management stuff, people lose sight of how, work, how serious it is about the game and how hard he works. So uh, I thought it was great for Pat going down uh, to San Diego and seeing uh, what he does. Uh, he came back with a whole new appreciation for what Kawhi puts into uh, daily work to get ready for a season. Uh, next question, we're going to go to uh, Charlie. Hey, Doc. Uh, with, with the scrimmages coming up this week, what are you guys trying to get out of those? Uh, minutes, you know, um, get a little bit better rhythm. Um, we haven't played. I mean, we scrimmage, but we haven't scrimmaged to that uh, extent. And, you know, again, uh, I think other than the first game, they're, they're, they should call them preseason games, you know, since we're wearing uniforms and, and have referees. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's called a preseason game and not a scrimmage. Uh, first game will be more like a scrimmage for sure, though, because there's only uh, – I think it's, it'll be 10-minute quarters if, 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 I, if I'm getting that right. But, uh, you know, we, what we want is rhythm. That's what we're trying to get out of and conditioning. Uh, we want to take two more questions. Uh, first one is going to come from Miriam. Hey again, Doc. Um, right. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, uh, a question about Noah. Obviously, he's had quite a journey to, to reach this point. Um, I guess, what are you seeing from him in the first couple of weeks, actually, on the court? And uh, what do you guys need from him going Who forward? So, into the preseason games. Pardon me. And what? Do you, just what do you guys need from him? Who? Noah. Noah. I didn't hear the name. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what we need from him yet. Uh, we need him to be a solid veteran player. Uh, we need him to be a leader uh, as much as he can lead, uh, to be a great – set great examples, to be a teacher, uh, to, to zoo. When, uh, and then, you know, really to, just to be ready when called upon. Uh, and I think mentally he's in the right space right now uh, to be ready. Uh, so I, I think he will be. Okay. Uh, and last question is going to go to Cameron. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon. Hey, by the time you get to this, this initial preseason game, as you're calling it, do you expect to be in full stride by then, or do you think there will be a 
few more tweaks be before the playoffs be actually begin? Well, uh, definitely uh, we will not be a full strike when the preseason games start or, or scrimmages, whatever we're calling them. Uh, don't even know if anybody will be in full stride when the first eight games start. But by the time the eight games are over, I think everybody will be in full stride. Okay. All right. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. It. Vote.